Five former ambassadors to Israel wrote to Congress asking them to seriously question Friedman's viability for the position, writing, quote, we care deeply about Israel. Friedman has been active in supporting and financing the settler movement. He, said, he has said that he does not believe it would be illegal for Israel to annex the occupied West Bank. We believe him to be unqualified for the position. Now, this gets a little complicated because even President Trump surprised Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday with a request to hold off on building in these settler contested areas. So we bring in former Israeli ambassador to the U.S., Danny Ayalon, to talk about all of this. You saw those protests. I mean, you had both Palestinian flags being raised and then American Jews dancing in and, and blowing the shofar, which is a, a, a Jewish symbol, certainly. Um, Protest letters, petitions, welcome to America. Are you concerned about David Friedman? Not at all. And by the way, whatever you see here, you see in Israel. Protests, whatever. You know, we are a vibrant democracy like yours, so I'm quite used to it. But it was quite uncivilized to do it, especially as this uh, protester do have a voice in the committee. Uh, he was asked uh, quite tough uh, questions, and I'm glad that he had the opportunity to defend himself and to answer all this. I think he will be a great ambassador, an ambassador for needs to have the ear of the president and this is more important than anything else obviously he has the trust of the president and i think he can represent america very well and all those ambassadors who went against him it's also it's, it's undone he's going to be confirmed he's going to represent not only republican he's going to re represent all americans so this is a little bit of kind of undermining but, him. But it's not about representing all Americans. It's about a peace deal. And Donald Trump said yesterday, we've got a bigger and better yeah. idea than anybody, quote, in this room is going to imagine. Yeah. Is David Friedman the man considering he is extremely supportive of the contested settlements? Uh, in East Jerusalem and, of course, the West Bank. His father is, is a, one of the founders of one of them, Baid Ail. And so I'm just wondering, is he the guy who can bring the Palestinians and the Israelis together, or do you really think it might be Jared Kushner, his, Donald Trump's son-in-law? Well, one is entitled for his own convictions and beliefs, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm sure he's a professional enough to separate this and the policies he's going to uh, represent and, and implement. Uh, as for the president uh, talking about a larger deal, in my mind, he's talking about a regional peace deal whereby bringing in from the outside uh, the Saudis, the Gulf countries, Other Egypt, Arab nations. Arab nations, yes. Always the, um, the, the, the principle was, or the thinking was, well, let's go from inside to outside. Let's get a deal with the Palestinians. Let's we'll go to the Arab. No. It does, didn't work. For 25 years, it didn't work. So the attempt now to start on the outside to bring the Palestinians in maybe well, will that's hurt. That's where Donald Trump may really have a, a, the idea. Whatever we've been doing for 20 years is not working. Absolutely. So maybe bring in the Saudis, who we know have a semi-decent relationship with the Israelis, certainly the Jordanians. But, you know, the Arab League tends to not want to uh, recognize Israel's right to have its own Jewish state. So how do you get over that? Well, by, I think, going on an interim base, uh, the elements, Liz, are not there to have a final deal. The Palestinians are not ready to give up the destruction of the State of Israel. Otherwise, why would they teach their children that they should claim everything, mm -hmm. including the Negev and the Galilee? Tel Aviv is called a settlement by them. Yeah. Why would they glorify and finance terrorists? Why would they still insist millions of uh, Palestinians to migrate to, to, to Israel? So certainly they are not ready for it. Jerusalem, we didn't even speak. So maybe an interim deal, and I think Trump, by uh, his own uh, record of being a deal maker, he would know how to find a common ground between the larger Arab world, which has a converging interest with Israel vis-a-vis -vis ISIS and Iran, Palestinians and Israelis together. But you say David Friedman will be confirmed and he's the guy. I hope so and I, I think he will do a great job. Ambassador Danny Ayalon, former Israeli ambassador to the U.S. You've served your country brilliantly as well. Thank you so Thank much. You.